Okay, this is a demonstration of how to do a search using the Gale databases in Group Destiny Quest. I'm assuming that you already know how to find Destiny Quest in Teach Kiosk using the Destiny Quest GFL button. So here we are in Destiny Quest. I'm going to log in. Um, and I've logged in as Frogmore student. This is a fake name. So you can see here that uh, I'm ready to do a search. I'm in my quest. So there it is again. Ready to do a search in the box up the top and I'm going to do a search for American Revolution. Press enter. First one I get is library titles. We have quite a few. Second one is websites. This is a database that we purchased from Destiny. Um, all the websites, all the links work. They've all been checked for accuracy and they've all been checked as suitable for school children. So once it loads up, away you go. You can look at anything on there. Uh, what I'm looking at today is OneSearch. This is where all the um, electronic databases sit. You would use a database because they are much more wide ranging than Google. At this, while at the same time being totally on topic. So we're looking for American Revolution stuff and we want to use Gale. So click on Gale, click on World History in Context. There's uh, f five other ones, but because we're doing World History, I'm using that and apply. Scroll down until you find Gale World History in Context and click. You 191 results and shows you the first 25. Um, if you want to add any of these to a list for later you can click on my personal list and then you just click the add to this list button and it will um, keep all that information for you. So let's have a look at this one, the British Soldiers of the American Revolution article. If you don't see the pop-up and it doesn't let you in, you need to unblock pop-ups in your settings. If it doesn't let you into Gale, then you need to, and it wants a password, then you need to type in the password context, C-O-N-T-E-X-T. -E um, and then it should just let you in whenever you need to get in. So up here we've got related subjects that you can search. Over here we have the title of the article, it's from PRI, which is a fantastic little website, you might like to have a look at it. Ah, that's what I was waiting for. First thing you see are all the tools, so bookmarking, downloading, sharing, citation tools, emailing it to yourself, you can print it, you can use a dictionary, you can translate it, you can save it. Now the re related subjects have moved down here. The title and the original source of the article is sitting here. Here's the text of the article, it's quite a short one. The source citation is as follows. The document URL is this one here and it even has a Gale document number. Um, and the last thing is that you can listen to it and um, you should be able to hear it re um, read back to you. Um, so I'm hoping that this is useful to the history students and teachers in the school.